Good morning, students. This is Eleven Standard Bio Botany video class, video three. In this video, we are going to continue the lesson Taxonomy and Systematic Botany. Dear students, in the previous video class, we have seen botanical description of individual plant named Clytoria tenacea, and also economic importance of family Solanaceae. Dear students, botanical description of Clytoria ternacea is the important five mark question. That floral diagram and floral formula is the important two mark and three mark question. When you are writing the five mark question, Clytoria ternacea, you have to draw the floral diagram and floral formula. For five mark answer, separately it will come for the two mark and the three mark. Draw the floral formula and floral diagram of Clytoria tenacea. It's a question for two mark and the three mark. When coming to the economic importance of Solanaceae, name some food material, food plants of family Solanaceae, and their useful parts and uses. Likewise, name some medicinal plant and their useful part and uses. Is the important, very very important. Three mark answers. Write your short notes on tobacco. Is the important separate three mark question. Name some alkaloid which is produced from the tobacco. Is the two mark question. The answer is nicotine, non nicotine, and anabasin. So this all the important two mark and three mark question we have seen in the previous video class. Now we are going to see economic importance of family Fabaceae and also another family that is monocot family Liliaceae. So up to Solanaceae and Fabaceae, two families are coming under dicot plant. Only one family which are coming under monocot that is Liliaceae. That family only we are going to see in this video. First, we are going to see economic importance of family Fabaceae. First one, pulses. So, pulses means Parupu Vagigal. We all know that one. So, the binomial name of some of the Fabaceae family members. That is Gajanus Gajan Pigeon Pea. In Tamil, it is known as Tuvaram Barpur. Fasciolus vulgaris, that means bean plant. Caesar Arantinum, Kondakadala, Chickpea, Archana, Archani. Vigna Mungo, that means black gram, Aradu Ulindu. Vigna Radiata, that is green gram, or Pachapayre. Vigna Angustic. Sorry, Vigna Angiculata, that is Tatapair or Kaupi. Glycine Mats, that is Soya Bean. Macrotyloma Uniform, that is Osgram or, sorry, Uniflorum, not Uniform, Uniflorum. Osgram or Kolle. So, entire useful part is seeds only. Useful sources of protein and starch of the food material. Next one, food plant, Labla purpureus, that is field bean, avaraka, tender fruit is used as a vegetable, Sesbania grandiflora, agathi, agathi kirai, amma osa neki maadu kurupanga barangu, that kirai is known as agathi kirai, the leaves used as a green leafy vegetable, Siamopsis tetragonoloba is the cluster bean, Kotavaranga. Is a tender fruit used as a vegetable. Next, oil plants. Arachis hypogea, that means manila, peanut, or malata, groundnut in English. Seeds are useful part. The groundnut oil is prepared from the seeds. 
is edible and used for cooking purpose. Then pongamia pineta, pongamaram, erkunasana, sopukai. The seeds which are used to prepare for oil and also prepare for soap. Pongam oil has medicinal value and is used in the preparation of soap. So, these are all the different economic importance of family Fabaceae. So, each and every one is the important 2 mark and 3 mark question. Particularly, oil plants which is produced from the family, family Fabaceae is the important 2 mark and 3 mark question. Next one, timber plant that means maracatta which is used to prepare for furniture and cabinet article and as building material. Dalbergia latifolia rosewood. Pterocarpus santalinus. Red sandalwood. Pterocarpus mausopium. Vengi maram. Timber. Used for making furniture. Cabinet articles. And used as a building material. Medicinal plant. Crotalaria albida. Soralia carlifolia. Carboga arisi. Glyceriza glabra. That is lycorice root. Adimadram. Mucuna pruriens. Punekali. Roots. Seeds. Seeds and roots and seeds. First one used as an purgative. Purgative means is mixed with another medicinal. Another medicine. Then second one is used to prepare for leprosy and leucoderma. Leprosy, we all know that one. Torunoi. Nowadays, it should be eradicated in our country. Leucoderma means normal skin color is black in color. That should be modified into white color. White color patches which are appear entire body surface is known as leucoderma. Then this Adimadaram. Lycorice root, Glyceriza, Glabra, which are increasing immune power in our body. So, immunomodulator. This mucuna pruriensis, which are used to prepare for neurological remedy. It means, neuro problems are cured by mucuna pruriens. So, medicinal plant and timber plant is the important 2 mark question and 3 mark question. Another one, fiber plant, Crotalaria gentia, that in sun hemp, is a very very important, two more question, stem fiber, known as bast fiber, used for making ropes, another one, sesbania zespan, then important one more question, pith plant, yes I know meaning, aspera, yes I know mean aspera, is a stem pith used for packing material and a craft and fishing floats. Then, dye plant is the important three mark question. That means soyam. Indigo fera tinctoria auri. Leaves are prepared for dye. Coloring printing and in paints material. Clitoria tenacea. Floss and seeds. Used to prepare for blue color dye. Butea monosperma, the flowers which are used to prepare for natural dye. So, this are all the economic important of family Fabaceae. Very, very important. 2 marks and 3 mark question answer. The last economic importance of family Fabaceae is ornamental plant, that is. Butea frondosa, flame of the forest, one more question. Clitoria ternacea, Latherus odoratus, that is sweet pea. Alupinus irsutus, lupine, one more question. Entire plant which are used as an ornamental plant, that is aesthetic value. Aesthetic means what I told you. kaga vitla valakronia, beautiful value. Dear students, up to this we have seen. Economic importance of family Solanaceae and Fabaceae. Next, 
we are going to see the one of the monocot family known as liliaceae dear students next family is known as liliaceae shortly known as lily family it is one of the example of monocot family the systematic position of liliaceae according to apg four classification kingdom plantae clad angiosperm clad monocot order liliales family liliaceae according to bentham and walker classification kingdom plantae class monocotledon series coronariae order liliales family liliaceae dear students systematic position of family fabaceae solanaceae and liliaceae are important two marks and three mark question dear students see the note given by the scientist liliaceae of bentham and walker included different plant members that is allium gloriosa smilax asparagus silla aloe dracaena etc now according to under apg four groups it contains only lilium and tulipa other plants are placed under different families now we are entering into the topic general characters of family liliaceae dear students this liliaceae members are fairly large family contains 50 genera and 550 species the family members of this liliaceae distributed all over the world next habit most probably the plants are perennial herb what is a herb from the ground level they are 3 feet in height is known as herb plant and also perennial perennial means their life cycle is completed more than 2 years is known as perennial herbs in tamil it is known as pallandu thavaram okay here the plants which are containing the sympodial rhizome so rhizome means the underground stem is known as rhizome this rhizome only make the plant to survive for more than 2 years that's why it is known as perennial herbs example polygonatum bulb example lilium so bulb is the one of the underground stem modification you studied in vegetative morphology lesson lilium is one of the example of bulb com is the colchicum com is also one of the underground stem modification then shrubby or tree like some of the plants they are look like shrub up to 7 feet in height or some of them they are look like a tree it's not a really tree but their appearance look like tree example yucca and dracaena some are act as a woody climbers what is it a woody climbers are otherwise known as lianas isn't it then some plants which are having the weak stemmed plant unable to stand erect nera nikamudiya they need some host plant to survive that is known as climbers example smilax in the smilax plant the stipules what is the stipules at the base of the petiole they are producing paired green color appendages which is hair like outgrowth modified into coily wire like substance is known as tendril dear students is a very very important one mark question in smilax dash is modified into tendril the answer is stipules another type of question is stipules are modified into tendril in dash plant exam answer is smilax then some of the plant is also tree 
in zandoria some of them are succulent plant succulent means they are xerophytic plant plants which are living on the desert region they are storing the large amount of water content in their plant body that is known as succulent plant example aloe so those are all the different habit of family liliaceae next root it is a monocot plant dicot means tap root system monocot means fibrous or adventitious root system next one stem most probably the stems are look like bulbous and also rhizomatous rhizomatous means they are buried under the soil rhizome dear students in your home if you are having plantain tree vaalamaram irukku appadina after completing their life cycle we are cutting the banana tree under the soil you can able to see a pink color bulged or swollen stem like portion is known as rhizome that is said to be rhizomat and rhizomatous and bulbous some of the plant which is located above the ground level aerial and also erect example dracaena climbing stem in smilax in druscus the branches of a plant which are modified into phylloclad so phylloclad which is present in the asparagus plant also see in asparagus stem modified into cladode and the leaves are reduced to scales most probably this all the xerophytic plants so the scales leaves are modified into minute scale like leaves are totally absent is known as cladode which is present in the asparagus in druscus the stem is phylloclad important one mark question ruscus it is a phylloclad climber in smilax cladode in asparagus that is the stem of family liliaceae next one leaf of the family liliaceae leaves are radical or caline so caline means what is that one the leaves are look like in the form of stem that is said to be caline or radical lilium and dracaena then the leaves are arranged in a alternate position zigzag manner left right like that in some of the plants of gloriosa it is opposite that means each node they are having the paired leaves right side one leaf then directly opposite to the left side another leaf that is said to be opposite sometimes the leaves are look like fleshy and also hollow that means they are stored the are inside the leafy region some plants the leaves are modified into scaly appearance scaly means for example in onion we are peel out the outer surface isn't it that is said to be thola urikkiru illa vengayathile that is said to be scales example ruscus and asparagus it is a monocot plant so the venation of the leaf is parallel venation dear students once again you recall the variation dicot family members means the leaf showing the reticulate venation monocot family means they are showing the parallel venation but some of the species they are showing the exceptional case showing the reticulate venation example smilax is a important one more question stipules are absent at the base of the leaf that is stalk of a leaf that is known as extipulate but in smilax stipules are present but these stipules are modified into coily wire like substance known as tendril to climb up the host plant 
so this are all the leafy arrangements in family in the ac next one in fluorescence normally the inflorescence of lilies is simple or branched raceme most probably simple raceme only in aspodeles they are showing the branched raceme that means panicle okay then spikes in allo terminal pedicle in yucca solitary and axillary inflorescence in gloriosa solitary and terminal in tulipa dear students the different inflorescence which are present in the family members of liliaceae is a very very important three mark question write the different inflorescence of family members liliaceae with the example so you have to write simple or branched raceme aspodeles spikes in allo terminal panicle in yucca solitary and axillary in gloriosa solitary and terminal in tulipa dear students write the inflorescence of family liliaceae is a important two mark question and three mark question make a note in your textbook next one flowers flowers are often showy paakradhukku nalla perusa irukum attractive ah irukum that is said to be showy long stalk is there so pedicellate bract is present bracteate bracteole is absent that is out of to the calyx bracteole is absent that is known as e bracteolate but in dinella and lilium they are having the bracteoles so that is also important one more question both the sex organs are present in the same flower bisexual actinomorphic that means we can able to divide the flower at any median plane a radial axis divide the flower into two equal half with equal floral parts flowers are that means petal of a flowers are three in number that is trimeres ovaries at the top hypogynous flower in some of the plants they are showing unisexual that means male flower and female flower separately located in the same plant is known as unisexual or it may be present in the separate plant that is known as smilax is another important one more question unisexual and dioecious some of the flowers of a liliaceae family members contains four petals that is said to be tetrameres example meyanthemum the lilium which are showing the zygomorphic that means we can able to divide the flower only at one median plane with a equal floral parts that is lilium is the important one more question and the showing the hypogynous flower dear students up to this we have seen two dicot families fabaceae and solanaceae but we didn't see the variation of a calyx and a corolla dear students in this liliaceae family members calyx and corolla are modified into another form is known as perianth okay so in this family members you have to write habit root stem leaf inflorescence flower then you have to write perianth don't start with calyx and corolla okay because this calyx and corolla are modified into another structure is known as perianth the individual one of the perianth is known as tepal six tepals are present 
arranged in two worlds rendu circular irukum that is said to be biseriate each world they are having three tepals tepals are free so apotepalus are rarely they are fused together that is syntepalus in alo is important one more question usually the perians are colored nature that means petaloid or sepaloid odd tepal of the outer wall is in anterior position showing valvate or imbricate estivation what is valvate the margin of the tepal meeting at the edges but not overlapping that is known as valvate or imbricate tepals in paris quadrifolia the tepals are six in number another important one more question hello they are showing the sympetalus likewise six tepals sorry more than six tepals are present in paris quadrifolia there is a perianth of family liliaceae next we are going to see the male reproductive part that is andrisium six stamens are present these stamens also arranged in two whorls each three that means each whorl they are having three stamens vattam or vattathila moonu artha circle la three okay rarely in ruscus the stamens are three in number four stamens in meyanthimum are up to up to 12 stamens in meyanthimum dear students one more question minimum four or maximum 12 stamens are present in meyanthimum is important one more question stamens are free that is apostamenus each stamen which are located opposite to the tepal so we have seen perianth tepals are six arranged in two whorls each whorl three tepal so likewise stamen is also six arranged in two whorls each whorl they are having three stamens so these stamens are present opposite to the each tepal then sometimes these stamens are attached to the tepal that is said to be epitepalus sometimes the filament of the stamens are attached to the tepal of the flower that is known as epitepalus filaments of the stamens are clearly seen that is distinct or conate that means sometimes the filaments are joined together anthers are free but filaments are what is it when joined together each anther containing two chamber that is dithicus attached at the base or base fixed or sometimes versatile versatile means the anther lobes are located at the tip of the filament arranged in a horizontal position which makes the anther lobe to swing in the air that is said to be versatile extros or intros extros means when you are going to dehis they are opening at the outer side and liberate the pollen grains intros means they are bending inner side and come and comes outside and liberate the pollen grains that is extros or intros usually vertical slit so vertical slit means longitudinal one okay at the tip of the stamen they are having the minute pore that means opening minute opening at the tip of the anther lobe through the minute pore only they are degis by vertical slit rarely 
Sinstamenus. Sinstamenus means stamens are fused together. Example, Ruscus is the important. One more question. Dear students, Sinstamenus. Example, Ruscus is the very, very important. One more question. That means stamens are, what is that one? Fused together. That is known as Sinstamenus. Example, Ruscus. Next, Gynesium. Carpals are three in number. So, loculus also three. Tricarpillary, trilocular. And also, sint corpus. That means carpals are fused together. Are attached to the wall of your ovary. That is said to be sint corpus. Out of these three corpals, two of them arranged in pass. Only one which is located at the anterior position. Ovary which is present at the top. So superior ovary. Numerous ovules. That is many ovules are arranged in two rows. Of axial placentation. Rarely they are contained only one locule or chamber. Unilocular. Arranged in parietal placentation. Style usually only one. Stigma may be one or three. Rarely the ovary is inferior. Example, hemodorum. Important. One more question. Another important one. The gynesium which are containing nectar secreting septal glands are present in the ovary. That means like honey. That is said to be nectar. Which is secreting in the septal glands which is present in the ovary. Is another important one more question. There is the gynesium of family Liliaceae. Last one, fruit. The type of the fruit is capsule. So capsule fruit is divided into two types. Sepsicidal and loculicidal. So, fruit is usually septicidal or loculicidal capsule. Berry, for example, tomato, marirkum. That is said to be berry, as in asparagus and smilax. So, those are all the different characteristic features of general characteristic features of family Iliaceae. Dear students, I hope have you all understood the topic taught in the video class. Remaining, we will see in the next video class. God bless you. All the best children.